here we are going to learn statistics statistics there are three topics that is mean median and more so first topic that is mean mean is nothing but it's a average so for example let's consider when there are n given numbers that is x1 x2 x3 up to n then the mean is calculated by the given formula so mean is represented by x bar x bar is nothing but it's equal to sum of given numbers divided by total given numbers that is n so this is the formula to calculate the mean in this we are going to find the mean for the group data group data can be continuous and not continuous here we are going to consider an example for continuous data here in the given table there are two columns that is the first column is class interval the second column is the number of students number of students is nothing but it is a frequency it is represented by fi so here in the first class interval let's consider the lower limit as 10 and upper limit as 25 here let's consider two things that is the class width and the class mark class width is nothing but it's the upper limit minus the lower limit so first class interval let us uh, example let's consider the upper limit as 25 minus lower limit 10 so the answer is 15 so next let's consider the class mark it is the upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 here 25 plus 10 divided by 2 that is 35 divided by 2 17.5 so next we, we are going to find the mean of group data with three methods that is direct method assumed mean method and step deviation method so here assumed mean method and step deviation method are nothing but it is the simplified version of direct method the first method we are going to find the mean is using the direct method here in the table class interval and frequency will be given in the question here the frequency is nothing but it's the number of students so first we have to find the sum of frequencies sum of frequency is also represented by n so next column we have to find the xi xi is nothing but it's the midpoint of the class interval that is the midpoint of 10 to 25 is 17.5 the easier way to find xi is using the class marker likewise we have to use the same method for the other class intervals so next column is fi into xi so here we are directly multiplying the fi with xi so for the first class interval by multiplying 2 into 17.5 we will get 35 we have to continue the same step for the remaining class intervals and finally we are going to find the sum of fi and xi and find the value for the given numbers last we are going to find the mean x bar is equal to sum of fi xi divided by sum of frequency so in the given problem the sum of fi xi is 1860 divided by sum of frequency is 30 is equal to 62 so the mean by the direct method is 62 method we are going to see the assumed mean method to find the mean so here in the given table the first column is the class interval the second column is the frequency it is nothing but it's the number of students it is represented by fi and the third column is xi so here these three columns are the same as that of the direct method so the fourth column is we are going to find the di is equal to xi minus a this a can be any value from this column so for our convenience we are considering the mid value for easy calculation as 47.5 here the value of a so we will find the di values for the given class intervals so next at the last column you are going to find the fi into di that is we are going to find all the values for the given values so finally we are going to find the sum of fi di here we are finding it as 435 for all the values of sum for the given data so finally we are going to find the mean with the given formula here the uh, sum of fi di divided by sum of frequency here the sum of frequency is 30 plus a a is the mid value that is 47.5 so by adding these both values we will get the mean as 62 
So the third method to find the mean is using the step deviation method. So here in this table, the first column is the class interval. Second column is the number of students is the frequency taken. It is represented by Fi. Next is the Xi and Di. These all columns are same as the previous method. So the next column is we are going to find the Ua. Ua is we are going to find by Xi minus A minus A divided by H. H is the value of upper limit minus the lower limit. So H is nothing but it's the class width we have calculated with the formula previously. So we are going to find all the values using the formula. So the final column is the Fi Ui. Here we are going to find the Fi Ui for all the data given in the class interval and finally we are finding the sum of Fi Ui here in this table it is equal to 29 for the given table. So at last we are going to find the mean for the step deviation method using the given formula uh, x bar um, mean is represented by x bar here we are going to find the mean with the values a is taken as 47.5 uh, plus we are substituting in the given formula so we will get the mean from the step deviation method as 62.